Let's look at transcription, how we get from the gene on DNA to the RNA molecule. And this happens within the nucleus. So transcription is transfer of this genetic information from the gene or allele on DNA onto the RNA molecule. So the DNA strand separates where the um, transcription process is going to begin. And only one strand is used as a template down here in blue for the synthesis of the RNA molecule, which is coming out here in red. And the RNA molecule, if you remember, RNA is a single-stranded uh, nucleic acid, a single-stranded molecule. So the RNA nucleotides follow that usual base pairing rules, except that U pairs with A as opposed to T because the RNA molecule has U, uracil, as opposed to T, thiamine. Remember, that's one of the differences between RNA <clears throat> and DNA. So the RNA nucleotides are put in place, are linked in together, covalently bonded together by the enzyme RNA polymerase. Right? Most enzymes end in ASE, and many enzymes uh, have in their name what they do, what their function is. So the enzyme RNA polymerase polymerizes the synthesis of an RNA molecule. So the nucleotides of the RNA molecule form hydrogen bonds with the uh, nucleotides of the DNA single-stranded template up until the point where they detach. So let me show you a little video here on transcription. Get the volume up. Try to get the volume up. What's going on? Here we go. Transcription. The first process of getting from a gene or allele on the DNA molecule to a protein product, the polypeptide. The first step in protein synthesis is transcription of RNA from DNA. The portion of the DNA that is transcribed into an RNA molecule is called a transcription unit. An enzyme called RNA polymerase carries out transcription. With the help of protein transcription factors, it attaches to the beginning of a region of the DNA called the promoter, pries the DNA strands apart, and untwists a short portion of the double helix. RNA polymerase moves along the DNA pairing up RNA nucleotides with their DNA complements, adding nucleotides to the end of the growing RNA molecule. Here's a close-up view of elongation. Only one DNA strand, the template strand, serves as a template for RNA synthesis. RNA polymerase moves along the DNA strand in the 3' to 5' direction, adding nucleotides to the 3' end of the RNA chain. Note that U in RNA pairs with A in DNA. Once transcription is complete, RNA polymerase releases the completed RNA and detaches from the DNA. And one point here, um, <clears throat> just like when we did DNA uh, replication or duplication, do not worry about the terminology three prime to five prime direction or five prime to three prime direction. Okay, don't worry about those things. <clears throat> so let's look at the initiation of transcription. It starts as uh, mentioned in the little video there at a section of uh, the DNA that's referred to as the promoter. And that's where the RNA polymerase will attach at the initiation phase. So the initiation phase is the first phase of transcription. So attachment of the RNA polymerase. Where's my cursor? Here we go. Step one, phase one, attachment of the RNA polymerase at the promoter region. 
and start of the RNA synthesis. So the second phase is the elongation of the RNA molecule as nucleotides are added. So that's the second phase of transcription. Elongation, the RNA, the RNA molecule grows longer and longer and eventually peels away, gets detached from the DNA template. And then finally, the termination phase, the third phase, excuse me, the RNA polymerase reaches what's referred to as the terminator. Uh, and this is a sequence of bases that initiates or signals the end of the gene or the allele that's going to get expressed. <clears throat> so when the RNA polymerase molecule reaches the terminator, termination occurs. The RNA polymerase detaches from the DNA molecule, the DNA uh, strands reattach to form the double helix, and then the uh, completed RNA molecule is uh, released. So there is processing of RNA molecules in eukaryotic cells, uh, and I'll just mention the only parts that you need to know. So uh, transcription in RNA processing occurs within the nucleus, here we go, within the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. And the processing is essentially cutting out parts that are not needed and adding uh, a few nucleotides at one end and at the other end of the RNA molecule, and that's referred to as the cap and the tail. So what leaves the nucleus is the processed RNA molecule with its cap and tail, and the function of the cap and tail, color-coded here in yellow, is to help uh, the, uh, the ribosomes recognize the mRNA molecule, or RNA molecule, but it's mRNA molecule now, as it's been processed, and um, M for messenger, helps the uh, ribosomes recognize and attach onto the mRNA, mRNA molecule. And the attachment of the ribosome onto the mRNA molecule occurs out here in the cytoplasm. So in translation, that's that second step, First step is transcription, producing the RNA or mRNA molecule that leaves the nucleus, comes out into the cytoplasm where it binds to the ribosome. So translation requires these uh, essential components, the ribosome and the transfer RNA molecule. So this is another type of RNA molecule, tRNA. And that's color-coded here in uh, light blue and dark blue. So it's a type of RNA molecule, and its function is to bring in amino acids to the ribosome mRNA complex so that the amino acids can bond together through peptide bonds and form the growing polypeptide chain, which will become the um, <clears throat> protein. So this tRNA molecule, transfer RNA, uh, it matches the appropriate amino acids to the codons on the mRNA molecule. So the um, transfer RNA molecules have their specific amino acids onto them, and on one end of the transfer RNA molecule, as we'll see, there's something called the anticodon that has to match the codons on the mRNA molecule so that the tRNA molecules can bring in the correct amino acids. They are coded for by the codons on the mRNA molecule. So again, tRNA binds at the uh, binds and brings in the appropriate amino acids and is able to recognize and read, if you will, the appropriate codons on the mRNA molecule. So a quick refresher, the DNA molecule, it's just information in bases. <clears throat> the mRNA molecule, again, is just information on bases of the nucleotides. And the three groupings of the bases on the mRNA molecule is called a codon, because those codons, that triplet of nucleotides or bases, codes for particular amino acids. And the codons are read by the anticodons of the tRNA molecules, which are bringing in the appropriate amino acids to the ribosome mRNA complex. <clears throat> so the tRNA molecule, it has a triplet of bases on one end that's called the anticodon that matches the codons on mRNA. 
and also the tRNA molecule has a binding site for its specific amino acid. Remember, there are 20 different amino acids. So now let's move to the ribosomes. <clears throat> so uh, these are organelles in the cytoplasm that coordinate the junction of the mRNA molecule here in red and the tRNA molecules here in green so that the polypeptide can be synthesized. So as we've mentioned before, the ribosome is the site of protein or polypeptide synthesis. And this is occurring in the cytoplasm. So the ribosomes are comp comprised of two subunits, a small and a large subunit. And they have binding sites for the ribosome, has a binding site for the mRNA molecule, and binding sites for tRNA molecules that are called the P site and the A site. So the overall process, <clears throat> three phases in translation, initiation, elongation, and termination. So in the initiation itself has two steps. First step is where the mRNA molecule binds to the small ribosomal subunit. Uh, and in, in the initiator, tRNA binds to the start codon, bringing in its uh, amino acid. Then the large ribosomal subunit binds. And once that happens, the ribosome is functional and it's able to accept the next tRNA molecule in what's called the A site. And then uh, synthesis and elongation of the polypeptide chain can uh, proceed. Okay. So initiation, it's two steps. Oh, we did this. I guess I just repeated this. Okay. Anyway, initiation has its two steps, right? The mRNA molecule binds to the small ribosomal unit, subunit, and the initiator tRNA binds, bringing in its um, amino acid. The tRNA binds to the start codon, the triplet of bases that initiates polypeptide synthesis on the mRNA, mRNA molecule, large ribosomal subunit binds, and it has a site for binding of the next tRNA molecule. Okay, so a little video on this process. And we will watch this video in the next section because we will run out of time on this section.